Okay, next we'll get out Diddy Kong. First we'll grab these bananas. Now we're going to see what's in here. I believe we actually have another puzzle, kind of like what Chunky had in that tree. Where you basically have to have the sniper mode to actually hit a switch that's on the other side of the room. So yeah, we're going to hit that. That's really lame though, that they kind of, you know, reuse the same kind of gold banana in the same level. You would think they get a little more creative with it, but I guess not. Because this game has been so creative thus far. Come on, just hit the balloon. Save me a lot of time. And last but not least, we have one thing to do with Lanky in here, and then we'll be done. And if I remember correctly, Lanky's room can actually be kind of annoying if you have very bad timing. Of course, I don't remember very much. About every little detail. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. So, bring out your trombone, play a small little tune. And then you will summon a bunch of balloon pads from the green acid. Remember, if you touch the green acid, it's a one-hit KO, so... You do not want to land inside the acid, that's for sure. And basically, you just have to float to the end of the room. Making sure you don't fall off in the process. And that's actually pretty good. Welcome to bonus okay, Kremlin Kosh. This is actually going to be kind of difficult, because you have a lot of Kremlings to hit. And they move very, very quickly, so... You do not want to mess around during this minigame. Try to go for as many green Kremlings as you can. And if you have good enough timing, go for the red Kremlings too. But you do, you do not need to hit the red Kremlings at all. Just make sure you definitely hit every green one you can. And you should be able to do this with very little issue, but... Still, though, this can be kind of challenging if you're not fast. Oh, well, I actually barely completed that. But that's probably the speed you don't want to move at, because I was actually moving pretty slow. Okay, next we have a bit of a challenge here. We have to find a way to get these balloons without falling into the acid. I know there's a second balloon over here. Probably have to go back though to see it. Oh wow, I actually landed on the platform. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. And hooray for getting a coin that I didn't even need. And hooray for punching that guy in the face. He probably deserved it, though. 
Okay, we're gonna switch back to Chunky so we can grab the rest of the bananas that are in this room. And then we'll move on to the area where Funky's located and get the final five bananas. Then I'll turn in the blueprints and then I might have enough time to actually fight the boss in this recording too. So in that case, I will definitely do that. And we also have a Kasplat right here. We'll destroy him. Grab even more bananas and... Not get hit by a headless skeleton, even though I already did. And we're out of this place. So, if you don't remember, the banana port, or not the banana port, but the uh, room we're looking for, is actually fairly close to banana port number one. Or the second banana port number one. The banana port number one that's kind of on the lower area where the entrance to that area I was just in was. So, um, before I do that, though, I'm going to switch to Lanky. If you're wondering why, don't worry, there is a method to my madness. I just choose not to share it right away. But anyways, the room we're looking for is right here. Right away, we have a red Kasplat, which we'll take care of later. First, I want to make sure I grab all these blue bananas. And I'm also going to switch to Tiny. Okay, it's not really my A button that's giving me trouble, it's my Z button. Which is kind of weird. The Z button's actually pretty... Um... Sturdy, so I don't know why that button would be screwing up. Okay, we only need five more bananas with Tiny. I'm not really sure where they are. But I'm sure we'll probably find out in due time. I'm hoping I haven't missed anything. That would really suck if I did. Okay, so up here we have a little tomb of sorts. I'm gonna break open the tomb and go inside because both Lanky and Tiny have a banana in here. I believe Tiny goes to the right. And there we go, we are done with Tiny's normal bananas. And now we have this kind of uh, difficult platforming section to do. This can actually be kind of tricky because as you can see, the uh, hands you're supposed to jump from actually sink into the green acid. So if you're standing on one of the hand platforms, you could theoretically die at the wrong time. But this really isn't that bad. You have your ponytail twirl to safely guide you to the next platform, so there we go. Now we are going to purposely die. So for those of you who are keeping death counts, do not count that death because that death was on purpose. It's actually kind of cool. I have I hadn't actually died in the playthrough until uh, Crystal Caves, which is pretty good. I mean, this game really isn't that hard. And dying is so insignificant anyways that it really doesn't matter much, but still, though, I actually went through, like, a quite a 
the majority of the game without really even dying, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool, I guess. Nothing major, but... If you ever talk to someone who's never played this game, you can just say, Hey, I never died. I, I didn't die until the sixth world in uh, Donkey Kong 64. And you'd be like, oh, okay, cool, awesome. Okay, before we do this, we have to grab this balloon. And we have all Lanky's normal bananas. At this point, I'm kind of only worried about Diddy's normal bananas, because I don't really know where all of his are. I mean, I'm sure I'll find them. I mean, I'm, I'm sure about that, but still. I was missing quite a bit of them last I checked. Okay, there we go. Another gold banana gotten. And once again... Purposeful death. Do not count that in your death counts. I was only doing that so I didn't have to go back through that entire room just to get back. Okay, so next I think I'm going to use Chunky. Or... Yeah, I'll use Diddy Kong. Since I have to grab his Kasplat anyways. And then if we go over here, we have another tomb. For this tomb, you can only enter it with uh, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and Chunky. And is there a balloon floating? Yes, it's Diddy's. Okay. That kind of answers my question about some of his uh, normal bananas, then. Okay, I only need 20, and I think there, I think uh, there are actually two balloons inside this room. So I was probably worrying for no reason. Okay, so in this room, you actually have three banana ports that will take you to the respective rooms for each Kong that has a banana in here. Just in case you make it all the way to the end here, and you actually pick the wrong route like I did, so... Let's warp back and try another route. But then, once we uh, bring back Chunky Kong, we can actually go that direction and find where we need to go. I believe Diddy's room is over here. And I am correct. In this room, we have a very simple puzzle. All you have to do is chimpy charge these buttons in order. Actually, hold on, let me try something. Okay, yeah, make sure you uh, open them in incorrect order first. So you can actually get the uh, banana balloons. And I believe if I do the same thing again... Oh, nope, never mind. Okay, I am randomly missing a banana bunch of Diddy Kongs, and I'm not really sure where to find it, so... I'll probably have to look off camera to see where that would be. Oh well, you can't be perfect. Or I guess it could be inside this coffin too, I really don't know. Ok, 
Okay, no, it's not in the coffin. Oh well. I'll find it. I'm sure it won't be that hard to find off camera. Okay, so we are done with Diddy Kong for right now. Next, I'm going to get out Chunky Kong. <laughs> 